we're going to talk about slang today. So first, I want y'all to watch um, this video, and um, there is going to be an American person uh, talking to a person from Britain, and they are talking about slang from America and slang from Britain, okay? And they are trying to guess what the words mean, because... Our words are not exactly the same in America and Britain, okay? There is the link. Um, okay, and go ahead and start watching it now. And don't forget to mute, mute yourself.
Paolo, you knew all of those slang words? All of the slangs. Good, all of the slang words. Yeah. That's awesome. That's impressive. I didn't know any of the British ones. I knew zero. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let me explain one word uh, that Ming had. Ming, is that okay if I explain it to everyone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, does anyone know what rub it in means? No. Rub it in? Okay, it means when um, when someone continues to talk about something that makes you feel embarrassed or upset. So, for example, um, if if I got something wrong, uh, like if I said two plus two equals five, <laughs> and someone kept talking about it and kept talking about it and was poking fun at me, I could say, stop rubbing it in. I already know. I know. Two plus two is not five. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is feeling upset for a mistake that you have or something like that? It means it. Okay, so it means when someone is continuously talking about it. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah. So it's not the feeling of you getting upset. It's just someone continues to talk and talk and talk. Yeah. It, is it like when, I don't know, when your brother comes in front of your family and and asks to me, and, and about the girls? <laughs> it's it's like it. Okay, wait, when your brother, hold on, hold on, say it again. When your brother what? When I am in, uh, in front of my family in the uh -huh. living room and my brother uh, bring up a, a topic about... Uh, Girls and he asked it to me in front of my family and about the girls. How how's it going? Oh, um, kind of. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. That could be an example of rubbing, rubbing, blah 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 blah, of rubbing <laughs> it in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tongue tied. Um, yes, that's an example, Paolo. Like that. Exactly. Uh, it's. It's more when someone is like, um... Being a jerk. Yeah, it's more when... So if he's doing it with the intent to annoy you, then yes. Uh, but it, if he's doing it to be nice, just as a question, then no. Mm -hmm. Okay. So rubbing it, it in, rubbing it in is when when you know that someone is kind of embarrassed about it or kind of upset. Is, is it like pick on someone? It's Repeating similar. Yes. It's similar, but pick on someone. So pick on someone <coughs> is equals to make fun of. Um, to rub it in just simply means they continue to talk about something. I, I have an example. I have a good example. Go ahead, Ming. Like, if I have a new iPhone and you don't, and I keep saying, hey, look, my new iPhone. I keep saying it. That's called rubbing it in, right? Yeah. 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 So, Paolo, for your example, if your brother has a girlfriend and he continues to talk about his girlfriend, and you don't have one, he could be rubbing it in. He's like, oh, I've got a girlfriend. Where do you, where's your girlfriend? Why don't you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girl? That would be rubbing it in. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense, Paolo? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a yeah, kind of bullying, you know? What, Jose Luis? Could be a kind of bullying or something like that. Could be a kind of what? Bullying. Bullying? Oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, maybe, no? Yeah, kind of. Or, or like, maybe. What? More like. Yeah, m more or less. More or less. Yeah, <laughs> more or less. Oops. All right, any questions, class, on the video? 
I don't think these are slings. These are bad words. They're than slings. What? Yeah, I think they are. No. <laughs> because they're not. They're not bad words. They're more like funny words. I have one that my boss teach me, but it's maybe could be a little like aggressive. I I don't sure if I can share with you. Um, maybe Why don't you, you could, type it in the group chat? Yeah. Or send it in a private message might be better. No, noise, noise, uh, cost, I think. Oh, it's not a cuss word. Okay, then no, yeah, just please. send it, send it in group chat. Other face. I wrote I don't in. Know what that is? He is told it? me that, yeah, bother, face. He told what me that did he say? Eh? Yeah? Well, well, my 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 boss told me that he is in reference a woman that has a very beautiful body, but his face is, <laughs> is very ugly. But it really is but her face. Is really this teacher? Yeah. But her face? Yeah. Menu. Yeah? Do you know this? Yeah. Body? I'm looking it up um, online. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> that's mm. terrible. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yes, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yes, that's exactly it. But is this a real slang or him? No, it's it's real. Yeah. <laughs> I just hadn't heard of it, but yeah. Now now that I recognize the definition, I know it. Yes, that makes mm. sense. Yeah, exactly. Do you know Any other else? like this? Can you share? Uh, I don't know. About girls specifically? No, no. In general. Um, I don't know. It's hard to think of slang on the top of your head because I probably use it in everyday life and don't even realize I'm using it. Mm -hmm. For example, you use, oh my gosh, it's, it's a slang, right? Or not? Kind of, but yeah. No? Yeah. Kind of. It's just to avoid using curse words, but yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that is. All right. What? Um, <laughs> any any other questions on the video, guys? Yes. Uh, what is a uh, chuffed to to bits? Oh gosh, he said it meant uh, when you're thrilled, when you're excited. Chuff to bit. Yeah, it's British. Oh. He he was from Britain, and Ellen is from America. So they were trying to see what slang words they knew from the other countries, and I think they had a total of zero. I did not understand badunka donk or something like that. Badunk badunk donk. <laughs> it's a butt. Oh my god, you said it. Yeah, it's not a bad. <laughs> It's, cuss? it's a, a really cuss? funny word. <laughs> it's a cuss word? Or? No, uh, no. no. Or I don't think so. No, it's just a really funny way to say someone's butt. Big one. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds really funny in English. <laughs> I don't think it's a bad word. I hope not. I would say apple bottom. Is or class. Yeah, can that mean big butt too? I don't know. <laughs> Which is I, thought it was, I thought it was a brand of jeans. No. But it's Apple very bottom? figurative. You can picture it. Oh, uh, <laughs> good point. <laughs> Which is the correct way to say about the real world? 
to say it loud. It's but? Both. Yeah. But? But? Okay. Yeah. But or behind or um, there's Posterior. lots of ways to say but. Um, Posterior. What do you say to little kids? <laughs> Booty? No, no. Tush, yeah. tush, tush, tush. Your tush? Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's lots of there's lots of ways. Tushy, right? Tushy. Tushy, yeah. Booty is funny. Booty. Booty. <laughs> Booty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. <clears throat> if you'll have any more questions from the video, let me know. Mm, but we will continue to the rest of the assignment on here. If I can find it. Where is my PowerPoint? Here it is. Okay. Oh, no. No, computer. Ah. Okay. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Is that where Slim Shady <laughs> originally came from? <laughs> All right, so we are going to learn uh, these slang words. So, Felipe, uh, the one in the blue shirt, can you read Shady, please? Okay, definition uh, and trustworthy people interactions. Um, part of speech adjective example nobody trusted the chatty store owner another example the unfair business deal was so chatty good the pronunciation is shady shady okay yeah um ming i or i mean jose luis i would but i don't know how <laughs> it's a powerpoint mm. So uh, it's on my computer, but I'll I'll put the definitions in the group chat. And this is for shady. Okay. Shady, shady the same as fishy, right? Uh huh. Yeah, it can be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Um, let's see, Jose Luis, can you read this one? Oh, okay, uh, Balin, definition, rich, wealthy, expensive, fancy, part of speech, adject adjective. Example, he buys a new car every week, he's Balin, that guy's mansion is Balin. What is Balin? Is a, a golf ball or something like that? <laughs> no, no. Uh, the pronunciation is Balin. Balin. And it means like uh, when you're very, it, it literally means when you're rich. You, yeah. have, you have fancy taste, you're rich, you're really cool, it's expensive. You're doing well for yourself. You're doing well for yourself. Like snow? No. Oh, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it can be. C could, could I say uh, Playboy? Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can. Or, or yeah. girl, girly girl? <laughs> what do you mean by girly girl? It's the same as a Playboy, but uh, in form of a girl. <laughs> No. Uh, mm, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. What do you? 
What do you mean by playboy? Like a player? Uh, no, a, a rich guy that likes to show off. Uh, okay. Um. That likes to fuss in. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Mm, but like, yeah, a playboy is someone. Is someone who is, yeah. Well. Um, okay, so like, um, yeah, a man eater is another way to say a playboy, right? Ming, is that for the girl or the guy? For the girl. For the girl? Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah, I guess... It could use for this... You could also say, like, this, I think, but I don't... But that's more like uh, that's different. It's still mm. different. One who leads a life of pleasure, pleasure without responsibility or attachment. Yeah, you could say that, Caesar. That's a this good definition a of Playboy. Jose Luis, do you have a question? No, Balin is in reference to a person, right? Uh -huh. A person could be a Balin. It's always that's is something someone that always is in fashion and have very money and yep. yeah 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 mm -hmm. yes yeah okay. so you could you could describe a playboy that way uh, the word that Ming used is is fine for a girl uh, yeah I mean it's it's like the girl equivalent of a playboy. Yeah. Playgirl? Mm, no. <laughs> no, you usually don't say that. Um. <clears throat> All right, what about this word, guys? Uh, oh. Natalia? Yeah? Can you read this one? Mm. High up. Definition to call or contact part of a speech bear. Example, hype me up when you visit my city. And second example, it'll hit you up after class. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, the pronunciation for this is hit. Hit? Okay. Yep. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Caesar, I've never, I've never heard "playgirl." Maybe it's a word, maybe it's a slang word that I don't know, but I've never heard "playgirl" in reference to a girl. Could be, but I don't think so. <coughs> okay, so hit me up. Are there questions on what this means, guys? No. Nope. No, it is clear. Okay. All right. Uh, Demason? <laughs> Can you read this one, please? Hangout. The definition to spend leisurely time with part of speech group. I hung out with Leo was the other day. Mm -hmm. I wanna hang out with my friend on Tuesday. Good. Uh, good. And this word is leisurely. Like Le hang out on the rope. <laughs> hang. Yeah, I like to hang out on the rope. Any questions about hangout, guys? Uh, what about uh, hang around? 
give me. It doesn't mean exactly the same. It, like he hangs around um, bad kid school. It means oh, okay. It doesn't mean kind of the same, but it means it like when you hang around. It means um, you hang out with a certain group of people. So you 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 hang around a certain clique. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Spend hang out did like spend time maybe together to yes. fun. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay, let's see if I can oops. If I can copy this for you. Just so y'all can have it over here. All right. Um Paolo, have you read yet? Nope. Okay, let's have you read. This one? Okay, uh, down. Definition. In agreement with a plan to do something. Part of speech. Ad adjective. Example. No one was down to go skydiving with me. Example. Anyone want to go watch Star Trek? To track, I'm I'm down. Good. Yeah, your pronunciation was correct. Star Trek. Star Trek is correct. All right. Any questions on down? It, it means that you you don't want to do something, right? It no. It actually means you. You do want to do something. Oh, you want to do. It's uh, what uh, anyone want to go watch the third track. I'm down. It's agree, yes? Yes. Yeah, I'll go with you, maybe. Mm hmm. I'm down equals I'll go with you. Like, yeah, like that would be cool. I want to go. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Um. All right, let's have Felipe on the left. Read this one. Me? I think so. Felipe in the brown shirt, I think. Uh, definition verb to fail to badly. Uh. I totally bumped that. Uh, definition, adjective, good, excel excellent. Uh, this food is bomb. All right, do we understand this, this word? It can mean two opposite things. Yeah. The first one is like screw or something like that. Screw. Mm hmm Yeah. It's a very and negative thing. Yeah, and the second is that it's very very it's a very good thing, right? Yep. Very cool. It's very awesome. It's very good. For example, my dad is a bum. Could you say this? Or uh -huh. My dad person? you would say my dad is the bomb. It's the bomb, oh, okay. Mm hmm and that means good, excellent, right? Mm hmm Yep. Perfect. It's usual to use this word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Common. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Any other questions on this word? All right, we will continue. Uh Jose Luis, have you read? Yeah. You did? Okay. Um, all right, let's have Ming. You haven't read, right? No. 
Okay, go Can ahead and read this one. No. Bounds. Uh -huh. Definition to leave. Part of speech verb. Example. I'm so tired, I'm gonna bounce. Is everybody, everyone ready to go? Okay, let's bounce. Mm -hmm. Any questions on bounce? It means to leave. Yep. C could I say take off? Yeah. Can or I say head, head out? Yep. I'm heading out. Is is that common the slang I, I am Audi? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I've never heard it. I don't know. Maybe it's common, but I've never heard it. I'm Audi. Is it, is it I'm heading out. Or I'm heading off. Uh, I'm heading out. Heading off is not okay. Heading. Taking. I'm, heading I'm off. taking. Off. No, you you take off usually, like a plane, Maybe, like, and then you head out. Can you just say I'm off? All right, I'm off. Yeah, you can say that. Okay. Uh, I'm off or I'm out. I, I get off work. You can say bye, boss. I'm off. Okay. Yeah. I'm out of here. Yep. I'm okay. out of here. I think heading out is that like you're going somewhere, like uh, um, for something. But you can just... also say that when you're leaving work, you can say, I'm heading out. Okay. Yeah. So usually, you're probably right, Ming. It's usually when you have a destination in mind. Uh, but you can say that when you're leaving work because you have the destination of home in mind. Okay. Okay. But yeah, if you say, like, I'm heading out, Maybe it means like you're going out to a restaurant or you're going out to a bar. So yeah. What 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 do you say normally the most for um, people when you get off work? Bye bye. I just say bye. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, or, I want to sound more slangy. Or I mean, you can I I've probably said I'm heading out or I'm out or um. Or I'll see you guys tomorrow, or I'll see you later. I don't know. Okay. I'll have to pay attention tomorrow at work. <laughs> Actually, probably okay. now, I probably say Merry Christmas. But <laughs> anyway, that won't help you because that's not slang. I don't know. I'll pay attention like two weeks from now. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll smile. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Natalia, do you want to read the next one? Natalia? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, ditch? Yes. Definition to leave someone behind a skip class. Part of a speech there. Example, he's so grumpy. Let's ditch him. Example, I did feel good, so I ditched my English class. Good. Okay, this word is grumpy. Ah, grumpy. Okay. Grumpy. Uh, and this word is ditch. It's a small I. Ditch. Um. Mm -hmm. So it's not ditch, it's ditch. Ditch, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, okay. Um. All right, let's see. Any questions on ditch? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, so... Ditch means, uh, okay, so for example, um, if you have a friend and they are not fun, so 
Uh, do you understand grumpy, Paolo? Um, no. Okay, so grumpy is someone when you first wake up and you are in a bad mood, you are grumpy. Right? Grumpy. Okay, so when... Oh. Does that help you, Paolo? I don't know what is it. What is that? I don't know what your words are, Jose Luis. Okay, when you first wake up and you are in a bad mood. It's like the cat, grumpy cat. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know if he knows that meme. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know the meme, grumpy cat, Paolo? No. No? Okay, no. that won't help you. It's when you're in a bad mood. Okay. Bad or foul mood. Um, okay, so if you have... Does someone have their verbling window open? Yeah, it's no. very... It's upset, this sound. Okay, hold on. Let me mute everyone. Okay, um, so when you are... Um, it said, like... Let's say you have a friend, and they are grumpy. You do not want to go to the restaurant with them, okay? So you tell all of your other friends, let's ditch him. We don't want him to come because he's not fun. So you are going to leave without him. You are leaving him behind. Mm. You are not taking him with you. He's not only for classes, right? It's not only for classes. Oh. Yeah. So there are two definitions. One is when you leave a person behind. Mm -hmm. The other one is when you skip class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. If you can, you ditch your date. Like if you don't like your date. <laughs> no, that's no. <laughs> That's like when you, if you um, stand someone up. No, no, no. Like you met them and you talked to them for a while. Yeah. And it's like this person, I don't, I don't like this person because he, she uh, is mean or like you don't like their personality. And it's like, let's ditch my date. No, I mean. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Stand someone up is like you're not. Is like when you don't you know. attend. Yeah, you don't. Um, do yeah, you could say that. So, like for example, um, some girls, <laughs> when they're on a date, they will tell their best friend oh. before they leave on the date, and they tell them, "Hey, call me." So that way, if I need an excuse, I can pretend like my friend called with an emergency. So that oh, way, really? they can ditch their date. Oh. Yeah. I thought they would just say, oh, I need to go to the bathroom, and then never come back. <laughs> <laughs> Have, has anyone actually ever done that? I've never done that. Well, I, I, I pretend that someone called me, and I left. The you place. did? So yeah. you ditched okay. them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I, I put the alarm. It's, I, I go to the bathroom. And if either the yeah. date is not good, I put my my alarm and sounds for leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh Sorry, my gosh. no, I, that's I have, okay. <laughs> I have a question since reference a date. Yeah. It's only for relationships. If you have a date, it it means that you could or not to have a relationships or are not necessary. No, it can be used with anyone. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that your question? Yeah, so for example, if you have a guy friend that is really annoying, mm -hmm. you don't want him to come, or you don't want to invite him, and you're all hanging out, you can say, let's ditch him, let's leave yeah. him behind. No, 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 I'm talking about dates. The, a date is only when you get want to get a relationship, or not necessary? Oh, um, it's the most common. Uh, but it's 
No, you can use it in any situation. Like, for example, you can say, uh, let's schedule a date on the 12th of October. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, so it can mean business. It can mean, like, with friends. But most commonly in America, it's used when you're talking about, like, a romantic date. Yeah, it's more common for romantic. Yeah. Yeah. What's more if, common? If you, if you don't, if you don't have romantic intention, how do you say I'm going to hang out with my friend? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's not as common to say like, uh, cause yeah, you can say we're gonna go have a lunch date, like me and my friend, but uh. Mm, it's just not as common. So some people may may ask, like, oh, are you, are you dating someone or are you going to go see someone? Is it a romantic date? So people will just ask you for more questions mm -hmm, if they're mm -hmm. confused. So yeah. hanging out okay. is better. Okay, okay. I yeah. understand. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Or you could do that, like Facebook. All right. Um, any more questions on Ditch? All right, let's try to get through the PowerPoint. Here's the next word. Caesar, is your microphone? Oh, you left. Okay. All right. Demesson, can you read tight? Yes, okay. Tight. The initial cool, very good uh, part of speech adjective. My new car is tight. Example, look at how tight the guitars are. Mm -hmm. Good. And Natalia, can you read number 10? 10? Oh, okay. I mean, sorry, this Blame. one. <laughs> okay. Blame. Definition. Uh, boring. Uncle, not good. Part of the speech. Objective. Example, don't read that book. It was of lamb. And that was a la lamest. Limits. Es excuse me if ever ha uh, hurt. Good. Lamest. Uh, lamest. Good. Perfect. All right. We are going to go on to the uh, worksheet really quick because I want to see if we understand these words. Okay. Mm. Oh. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, number one, Natalia. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, one. This party is really boring. Who wants to leave? Um. Maybe bones. Good. Okay, so who wants to bounce? Yeah. Good. Mm. And what's this part? And uh, ball it. <laughs> oh. This part. Uh, this part is really boring. Uh, the ditch. No. No? What does it mean when it's really boring? Um, let me see. Lame. Lame. <laughs> Do you remember, Natalia? Um, 
I think is Lynn. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. All right, this party is lame. This party is lame. Um, yeah, and Paolo, you can say it's a drag. Can you say who wants to ditch? No, you can say who wants to ditch this party. Oh. Yeah. Who wants to ditch this, this party? party? You no. need an object. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, number two. Let's see. Uh, Jose Luis. Okay, did you see how much money he had? He is so rich. He is, uh, uh, could you, could, uh, okay. Balin? Mm-hmm, Balin. He's Balin. Oh. <laughs> All right. Can you say he's a baller? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Baller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, slang words are so funny. Okay, three. Um, let's see, Paolo. <laughs> Uh, the new James Bond movie looks so good, so cool. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Uh, it's so cool. Uh, um, it's tight. Mhm. Mm yep. Uh, Jose Luis is trying to cheat me. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to trick you. He's trying to trick you. All right. He's trying, he's trying to sabotage you. That's another good word. All right. All right. Uh, Demesson number four. <coughs> I'm free on Tuesday to... Hang out mm -hmm. to hang out, hit up when you end class. Good. This one is actually hit me up hit when me up. you end class or uh, when your class ends. When your class ends actually makes more sense to me. Okay, when your class ends. Okay, all right, good. Great job. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, five, Ming. Who's willing to go bungee jumping with me? Mm -hmm. Who's down to go yep. bungee jumping with me? Good. Number six, Jose Luis. I'm not going to class today. I feel like spelling it such. Sleeping. I feel like sleeping in. Yeah, I'm. It's. Uh, okay. I don't remember, teacher. Uh, no, bones? No. Mm -hmm. Ditch? Yeah. Ditch. Yeah. Yes. I'm ditching class today. Today. All right. Um, Natalia, number seven. Mm, that guy in the alley looks really suspicious. Mm -hmm. Legs crossed to the street. Good. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's shady? Yes. Shady? Yeah. Shady. Great job. Good. And Paolo, number eight. Oops, sorry. Uh, okay. I can't believe you forgot the tickets. This is an un 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 unfortunate situation. Good. Unfortunate. Uh,
Uh, I don't know. The it's a lame? Um, wait a minute. Wait, wait. I can't believe you forgot the ticket. This is... Lame. Lame. Drag. Wait, but did we use all of them? Bum. No. This is lame. Bum. This, this is, is bomb. No, it Does is that not. Make sense? This is a bomb. No. This is ball. <laughs> oh, this party is. No, this party is lame. This party is is bomb. No. This is a downer. Bomber, bomber. Yeah. What a bomber. This is. Yeah, I don't know. That didn't make sense. Sorry, guys. I don't know where bomb was supposed to be used. Okay. Sorry. Okay, yeah, I would use bummer here or, yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay, that, that worksheet wasn't very good. Sorry, guys. Okay, are there questions on the vocabulary or things we don't understand, though? I think no. this is a very good class because I see those words all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't fully understand them. People Good. used to say I'm down with it, and I look at them funny because <laughs> I think he's trying to be like gangster or something. Oh no, it's very common. Oh okay. Yeah. That's not very, no, it's not very gangster. It's just like, I'm down. It's it's a very, um, like a cool way to say that you want to go. Okay. Well, it's I'm, like saying, um, it's like a more casual way than like acting excited. So instead of being like, oh my gosh, yeah, I want to go. It's like, I'm down. I'm so down. Yeah. Okay. Maybe right. just him. The way he said it made me really uncomfortable. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I'm down with. Him. But <laughs> baller is definitely like a gangster, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's baller. a very funny one to use. <laughs> yeah. Well, to me, it's funny. <laughs> so Any other questions, guys? So is y'all, right? Y'all is funny? Y'all is gangsters. Ah ha ha! No, it's <laughs> southern. It's southern charm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. If y'all have questions, just go ahead and private message me. If not, I'm gonna head out because I'm gonna go to bed. Bye, Don't guys. forget to send a PDF, please. A uh, PowerPoint. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'll try to figure that out. I actually don't know how to do that, but I'll. Uh, you have to send me your email, I think, because I don't know if I can send it. Can I send it through a private message? 